In this video, I want to talk about five innovations that we've developed at Decent Espresso that make for better tasting espresso, possibly better than you've ever tasted before. So the first and the most significant one is based on how we actually decide on the temperature of the water in making espresso. So before Decent Espresso's approach, everyone focused on the, what's called the boiler temperature, which is the water temperature coming out of the boiler going in here to your coffee grinds. At the same time, everyone in the professional industry knew that the portafilter, which is a big hunk of metal, often not that warm, and the grounds, which are usually room temperature, cool the water really significantly. So if you, for example, want to make your espresso at a 92 degree infusion temperature, you put water in that's 92, you're actually probably around 87, 88 degrees for the first five or 10 seconds because the grinds are cooling the water that goes in. Then the water temperature will climb and the end of your infusion will be close to the set temperature. At Decent Espresso, we've not used a boiler. Instead, what we've done is a water mixing technology where we mix water that's slightly too hot with room temperature water dynamically in a mixing chamber back here so that we can immediately and very precisely set the water temperature that's going into the coffee grinds. So there's two modes on the espresso machine here. One is our traditional mode, works like a boiler. The other is to use the temperature probe that is directly above the coffee grinds and tell the espresso machine that this is the brew temperature you're looking for. The espresso machine will automatically use what's called temperature profiling, which is to say it varies the temperature of the water in order to get that infusion temperature as close as possible to your goal as quickly as possible. Now that's the kind of thing you get in a pour over where you have a ton of water and not too much coffee beans. It all gets infused the same temperature. But in espresso, that's not the case. So what we're trying to do is use this insight that has come from the world of pour over coffee and use it here. And it finally gives a good reason for temperature profiling, which a few high-end machines have had, but people haven't been able to figure out what we're going to do with it. Well, the reason is it was just too complicated to do something if you had to program it all. So we came up with the idea of the infusion temperature being the goal, and let the espresso machine vary the water temperature for you to get there. The second big innovation that will lead to better tasting espresso is the automatic end of pre-infusion detection. Now that's a mouthful, but let me break it down for you. Pre-infusion is when water goes in slowly into your coffee grinds at the beginning of the shot in order to saturate the puck and make it swell and even out. Now the reason you want pre-infusion is if blam, you hit the puck with nine bars of pressure it's very likely that some water is going to go squirting through some other parts because you're going to create what's called channels. And it's really hard to make a totally even coffee grind bed that's dry that can resist nine bars of pressure evenly. So pre-infusion is a technique that a number of professional espresso machines use to prepare the bed and then gently rise the pressure, which compresses it so that then you get even extraction. So where's our innovation? Our innovation is how do you know how much water and how do you know how long? With other espresso machines, you have to just guess. First of all, you may not even have access to change the rate of water flow during pre-infusion. And then secondly, you have to look and see if you get a drop of espresso coming out in order to know when the pre-infusion is done. Or if it's timed, you don't have that control, and you just to say four seconds of water, five seconds of pause, I hope that's right. With the decent espresso machine, we have a very sensitive pressure sensor in here. And what we do is flow water in at the flow rate that you want. And then when the water resistance increases just slightly, we know that the puck is now fully saturated and we can ramp the pressure up and start the shot. Now we give you a lot of control over that. You can decide on the DE1 Plus if you want a certain amount of water pressure change to be what uh, clinches it, or an increase in pressure, or a volume of water, or the old fashioned time. And on the DE1, we just do it for you with the settings that we think work best. But that automatic pre-infusion feature is available on both the DE1 and the DE1 Plus because it just makes better coffee. Finally, a number of people have wanted what's called a pressure profiling machine. That's the ability to change the pressure over the course of a shot. 
Older machines can't do that. There are some more expensive professional machines now that can make it, but to my knowledge, there's no home machine that can do pressure profiling, and frankly, not that many commercial ones either. Furthermore, it's actually quite hard to do to set your pressure profile perfectly. That's why a number of professional machines will put a paddle here, and they'll let you, in real time, change the pressure. The reason you want to do that is that as the coffee puck erodes and it loses about 20% of its mass during a shot, the water speeds up. And as the water speeds up, it doesn't spend enough time on the coffee grinds and it tastes less good. So a professional barista will let a shot run for maybe 10 seconds and then slowly decline the pressure so that the water flow stays constant. We've got something called flow priority mode in our D1 Plus, which just does that for you. So you can tell the D1 Plus, I want pre-infusion until the puck is wet. I want this shot to be at nine bar. And then just take care of the pressure, keep the water flowing at one mil per second until I've got 34 mils of coffee, then stop. That will make much more consistent coffee in any setting, at home or in a commercial setting. So you need less skill to make really top espresso. I just covered three innovations from Decent Espresso that we think will make the best espresso that you've ever tasted. Now on top of that, we've got two other innovations that go into making the drink, not related to espresso, but I think important nonetheless. So the first, maybe not that exciting, but if you drink Americanos, it's never been possible to actually get the water going into your espresso to be the right temperature or volume. So if you've put all this work into making just the perfect espresso shot, and then you put hot water in that's boiling, you scald it, you make the flavor terrible. Or you put water in that's not hot enough, well, now you've got a cold coffee, or you go to the microwave and warm it up, which ruins the flavor. So you can probably not see it here, but right behind the group head is a little spout. And if I hit hot water here and start, you will see that water comes out from there into your cup. Now what's happening is it's perfecting the temperature. And as soon as it finishes perfecting it, water is going to come out. And here we go with water coming out. Now we put it there so that it literally just fills the cup that you just made espresso in. You can set the water volume and the exact temperature that you want. So precisely the dilution and the temperature of the Americano has never been possible before. Now finally, I want to talk about steam because one of the things about home machines especially is that the steam power is not all that great and you end up steaming for a long time and putting a lot of water in your milk. And so your drink tastes kind of watery. What we've done here is done steam in a brand new way. Now, to my knowledge, there's only one professional company that is making an espresso machine that does steam this way. And they talk about it as a really major feature. For us, it's just another part of the decent espresso machine. What we're doing is we're heating up our steam heater here to 170 degrees Celsius. Now, a normal professional machine will go to 128 Celsius. That would be the maximum that you can do. And we're often putting out three bars of pressure coming out this steam wand. So what we're doing is extremely high temperature energetic steam. And what that lets us do is use half the water to reach the same temperature that if you had a professional machine. So all in all, if you spend 30 to 40 seconds steaming your milk, you'll find that you actually put half as much water in. Now, you'll actually know how much water you put in because when you go here and do steam, it actually tells you the flow rate of the steam coming out. In other words, how much water is coming out in the steam as well as the total volume, right? So at this point, we put eight milliliters of water into our drink to make that steam. That's about half as much water as anybody else. So those five innovations, the temperature of the infusion, the pre-infusion detection, the constant flow rate with a flow priority mode, the hot water, volume and temperature, and the twice as powerful half as wet steam. Those are five things that you will not find in any espresso machine that we put together for you that we think make the best espresso you've ever tasted.